gentlemen, our next fight of the evening is in the tough enough flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, with a record of two wins and one loss, fighting out of the Nets, Maui, Hawaii, Joe Mantis Dutra! His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner, with three wins and no losses, fighting out of Las Vegas, Krav Maga, Las Vegas, Nevada, Rudy El Matador! Referee Mark Smith going to get these flyweights on their way. Rangy flyweights, especially Troll Dutro at Very 5 tall. foot 11 inches tall in Very the white tall for green. You see the height difference right away. Yeah, incredible. Just 22 years old. Don't know how long he'll be able to maintain that frame as he gets bigger, but right now it is a huge advantage. Oh, look at him set up with the standing guillotine. Oh, he just has the neck. That's the other thing about the, the rangy fighter sometimes. It's not just using your reach. Sometimes it's those long limbs that can get somebody in submission trouble. Yeah, a little bit easier to wrap the necks or, or go, go for any, you know, different submissions. Rudy Garcia, though, trying to work in and out, navigate that range, nice. slip the punches, a little slip on the floor. Yeah, Rudy Garcia is being pretty aggressive. He's, he's dealing with the range pretty well. He's getting in and out, using strikes. Forcing a clinch here and there. Nice side kick. Great to see again. 21 years old for Rudy Garcia, 22 for Joel Dutro. Young guys getting experience here in the Tough Enough cage. Right. Oh, oh, knee. Yeah, I was a little worried no, about a little that. A little low on that one. Looked like a nice knee, but just a little bit low. Joel Dutro is going to need a break. Referee Mark Smith saw it right away. Now I know in the pros they get up to five minutes. How long is it here? They have the same option as well. Okay, awesome. Referee Mark Smith, of course, who you may recognize from UFC. He's been doing some UFC bouts, a long time referee here in Tough Enough, but has also worked at the UFC level as well. He'll, uh, he'll always have good control of the cage, doing a fantastic job there. Going to give Dutro a chance to recover himself a little bit. Yep, Mark Smith is a very seasoned referee, been around in the game a long time. It's, it's great to see him do his thing out there. Of course, I don't think any ill intention there from Rudy Garcia. Just. Trying to throw a knee to the body there as they're working in the clinch and just have to land a little bit low. At least Dutro's up and moving around. Looks like he's going to be okay. Yeah. All right. Here you go. Mark Smith giving a little warning there. And we fight on. Nice head movement there from Garcia. Slipping those punches. Just block. Oh, I really like the movement on Garcia. He's having trouble getting back in there and answering so far, but as far as slipping punches, really like what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's good head movement, good for work. You know, knows the range pretty well. Not just rushing in blindly. Just throwing a few kicks, but I would like to see him set those kicks up. Yeah, finish it behind a punch or two. I agree. Dutro, of course, just stalking from the center, doing a good job of trying to keep his opponent at a distance where he can hit him, but he can't be hit. Yeah, he's finally getting his range and finding some rhythm. Nice body shot. Good flurry from both men here in the final seconds of the opening round. Well, close round. Very close. Uh, uh, I, you know, I'd probably lean a little bit towards Dutro just because I think he had some of the cleaner shots. He was really kind of the aggressor throughout the fight, but very close. Rudy Garcia was answering well, had some nice uh, kicks, especially to the body. But as you said, Danny, maybe setting him up a little bit would make it a little easier. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just even feigning a jab and then throwing that kick would, would work well instead of just going blindly into a kick. We watched the uh, replays of the first round. <laughs> As they announce our name here in the arena, just try to embarrass us while we're <laughs> this. I don't mind a shot out here or two. <laughs> but yeah, but great first round by both gentlemen. You know, very, very active. Um, um, see how they both adapt their game for this next round and um, see who can do some things. Yeah, there was the one foul we had there, the low knee again. I don't think any ill intention there whatsoever. I, again, I really like the head movement, the footwork of Rudy Garcia. If he can just kind of come back and get in a rhythm to, to answer with those shots, I think he can change things around. So. 
Uh, we lean slightly towards Joel Dutro in the first round. Flyweights in the cage here. The Mantis in the white and green. Joel Dutro, the El Matador, Rudy Garcia in the black. Yeah, nice shot. Will he finish it? He's in deep, trying to watch out for his neck as he falls. Good job by Garcia finishing that takedown. Yeah, Dutro gets into full guard and trying to get a squeeze on the guillotine. You can tell wasn't quite able to get the angle. Garcia did a good job of pulling his head back inside. Now take top position. So good control using those long limbs. Making it hard for Garcia to posture up and have some good strikes. Yeah, nice close guard there. Again, something else you have to worry about with those rangy fighters is can he get his leg up on the shoulder for an arm bar for a triangle choke? Garcia get his head out to the side there. Maybe trying to just try to clear his head, posture up. Keep the shots going. But Ducho just doing really great. Just, oh, nice sweep by Ducho. Ends up on top Beautiful of the mount. Beautiful sweep in the mount. It's going to look like Garcia was going to try to set up something with a head and arm choke. Nice base there as well on top. Garcia trying to buck. Ducho doing a fantastic job of staying on top. Yeah, good hits. Real good pressure, got some great finds, trying to stretch him out. Making it hard for Garcia to hip out. Garcia trying to control things underneath. Keep those arms in tight, not allow any punches to come down. But I really like how heavy Dutra is on top, and he uses those long legs to keep his opponent wrapped. Garcia trying, trying, holding him down. But man, Dutra's got good hips. Being patient. Ten seconds. Final ten seconds in the second round. Now, here's the interesting part. It looks like, barring something special, Dutro's going to finish on top. Now, he is getting some nice punches here. Now, he's, I think he realized he needed to get some. Because this is a close round, too. Uh, Dutro finished on top there because he got that fantastic sweep. However, he didn't do much with the top position. I mean, he, he certainly controlled well. His positioning was fantastic. But until that final flurry, uh, wasn't necessarily doing a lot of damage. So uh, did Garcia do enough early on? I, I don't know. Sometimes judges, maybe not even purposely, they kind of reward what they see last. Yeah, they, you know, they have a little short-term memory and uh, they might have just remember seeing Dutro on top, landing some shots. But yeah, here we are, Garcia on top early in the round and then, you know, got swept. Dutro doing good in mount. Like I said, he's, he's just controlling for a while, and very few, few in the uh, last few seconds of the round, he landed some shots, but pretty much just kind of laid on him a little bit. Yeah, close round there. I think probably, as you said, judges do have a little bit of a short memory sometimes. It's the last thing they see it. I think they're probably going to lean towards Dutro there. Uh, but again, it's another round where we say Garcia is just a little bit behind, just, just barely. All right, Joel Dutro, the white and green. Rudy Garcia right and the flag coming out. Throwing big overhand. Good takedown by Dutro. Yeah, took advantage of Rudy Garcia's aggression there. He was a little bit off balance. Dutro was able to push him down. And this has been uh, this has been Dutro's world. Although Garcia turning for the Kimura. Looking for it. Dutro. Now look, look, looking like he's trying to either sweep and go for it. Or yeah, again, another another you know like the Oma Plata that we saw earlier in the night, a difficult move to finish, but sometimes a great way to just sweep to top, but. Dutro is smothering from the top. Yeah, great, great top control by Dutro. Got uh, forearm across Garcia's throat, stretching him out, making it very uncomfortable for him. But oh, now here we go. Garcia gets hips out a little bit. Oh, excellent reversal. That's just pure heart right there. Garcia lands on top. That was fantastic. I was just about to compliment Dutro and Sanchez Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for his technique because he's been great from the start of this fight. But that was a great reversal there from Rudy Garcia. Created a scramble, then capitalized on yeah, it. Yeah, sees opportunity, and now he's on top, doing pretty good. Good control. Let's see if we can get some damage going. 45 seconds left in this third and final round. We've got Dutro taping the opening two rounds, but gosh, both rounds were very, very close. Wouldn't surprise me if a judge saw one or two different here or there. So this third round is key. Yeah, if you're Randy Garcia, though, you got to know that it's close, and man, you got to still look for that finish, you know? Yep. Free Mark Smith again, not seeing a lot in the position. I agree with him there. Again, it's a much faster pace in the two minute rounds. Another takedown there from Garcia. Oh, but Dutro got some neck locked up. 
Just going for a hit, arm and go team. Full guard, see if he can get any kind of squeeze there. See a little bit of grimacing from Garcia, but seems to be relatively comfortable. Garcia gets set out. Garcia gonna finish the round on top. Joel Dutro and Good fight, Good fight man, again. Yeah. Danny, 21 years old for Garcia, 22 for Dutro. Very cool to see. Uh, just some excellent young talents. Um, I think Dutro's gonna walk away with the win here, 29-28, on the strength of those first two rounds. But a split decision wouldn't shock me. And maybe even Rudy walking away with the win if, if judges saw it a little bit different in those opening two rounds. But great work for both men. Yeah, very competitive, great matchup. Um, both guys had great skills, but uh, I think uh, Dutro did a little more damage, you know, and was in control a little bit more throughout the whole fight. Yeah, I agree. Interesting note again, Dutro. Five foot eleven inches tall. That is very tall for the flyweight division, and uh, and uses his body well. You know, uses that range as well, which was which was very cool to see. You can tell both on the feet and on the ground. He did a fantastic job. Of, but as we watch the replay here, the third and final round, we saw a lot of aggression from Garcia in the final round. Never gave up. Always looking to push forward. So may walk away with his first loss tonight, Will Garcia. But uh, certainly impressed me, and I know I'd like to see him back here in the tough enough cage. Yes. Two promising flyweights. Here we go to Jess Bernard with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have your winner by split decision, the blue corner, Joe Mantis Dutra.